I've got to hand it to Luke. He seems to have achieved the near impossible and found a property in Surrey that both Joe and Andy like. I'm starting to think I might have drawn the short straw on this property search, but at least Andy's managed to get Joe onto the two-hour flight from London to Perpignan to meet me here in the gorgeous seaside town of argelès sur mer Joe and Andy are looking for a new place to call home, and in spite of everything France has to offer, I think it's going to be a hard sell for Joe. Still, I've got Andy on my side, and I'm hoping they'll both be wowed by the property and the lifestyle on offer here. The stretch of seaside heading south from Perpignan to the Spanish border is also known as the Vermilion Coast. Here you'll find some of France's most beautiful beaches and typical holiday towns like Argelès, all just an hour from the Pyrenees. In recent years, this area has also become increasingly popular with British buyers, attracted by a winning combination of sun, sea and skiing. I think this would be a fantastic area for Joe and Andy to relocate to. Painter and decorator Andy should be able to find plenty of clients if he restarts his business here, while Jo spends time improving her schoolgirl French. Buying a home here means that just hours after dipping your toes in the bed, you could be in the Pyrenees carving up the pieces. But a lifestyle like this doesn't come cheap. And even in these turbulent times, property in this area has retained its value. A tiny studio near the beach here will set you back at least 80 grand. But Joe and Andy have a healthy budget of £300,000 to spend here, so I'm confident I can show them some property with the wow factor. So whose idea is it to come out here and live in France? I'm afraid it's mine. What do you mean you're afraid <laughs> it's yours? That's a great idea, I think. No, I think so as well, yeah. I like it, I have to say. Is there a butt coming? But my friend's not here. <laughs> <laughs> so um, not far. I'm not sure how um, you know I'd deal with that just being with just Andy and I, you know, <laughs> permanently. <laughs> it is obviously a massive change if you do decide to move away from the UK. But out here, would you be looking for a brand new, you know, gleaming slick property similar? to the one that you like back in Surrey? For me, ideally, yes. That's my style. No. And he's shaking his head. <laughs> no, no, I would like something that we can sort of put our own little stamp on, do whatever we want to do to it, rather than just actually walk in there and put our furniture down. So you want to have a little project yeah. out here. What kind of location? Just run me through your wish list. Andy sort of decided he'd quite like to be in the country, yeah. even though he doesn't drive, so I'm not sure quite how he'll get anywhere, but... As I say, the Horses beach heart. and shops and things like that would be my preference. I don't want to be stuck in the middle of nowhere. How likely is it that this is all going to end in tears? <laughs> it depends how much Andy's prepared to compromise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I reckon Andy yeah. might be quite willing to compromise if you want to come out to France. Yeah, obvious. I love a challenge, so I'm relishing this house hunt. Joe's worst nightmare is a crumbling, rustic property out in the sticks, so hopefully she'll be pleasantly surprised by what's been unearthed. And that should make my life, and more importantly Andy's life, a little bit easier.